I am Digital Certified Meteorologist Irene Sanson. We continue to have beautiful conditions for this weekend across Central Florida. We'll have a few clouds just south of Orlando, parts of Osceola County, Brevard County. That's where the clouds will linger through, especially on Saturday, as this stationary front meanders this area. Now, we could still have a stray shower or two, but overall conditions are starting to improve. Now, this stationary front is not going anywhere on Saturday because it's basically waiting for something to push it south. And that's something it's coming because of the next cold front will be pushing this stationary front away from the area on at some point on Sunday. And of course, it will bring cooler weather, drier weather, at least to close up the weekend. Now, this high pressure system will be shifting even eastward even more east and we can expect the winds to shift once again on Monday and this will bring moderate temperatures or mo will moderate the temperatures into the mid 80s for next week. So enjoy this weekend when the temperatures will be anywhere between 82 on Saturday, the high, and then 78 on Sunday. So temperatures below average for this time of the year. It's been quite a while since I've been able to say that. And the winds will remain mainly out of the north around 10 miles per hour on Saturday and Sunday. And then by next weekend, shifting mainly from the east. Now, if you're heading out to the beach, the winds will be mainly out of the north, 10 to 15 knots and the surf four to six feet. It's sunset on Saturday at 637 but the sunset on Sunday will be at 537 remember to move those clocks be, uh, behind one hour before you go to bed on Saturday we fall back on Saturday and of course at least we have the longest weekend of the year I am digital certified meteorologist Irene Sands don't forget to download our free WFTV weather app here we always upload videos and you can check the latest weather reports